Hello everyone, this is Alex. Um, it's uh, um, been five weeks since my <laughs> um, injury and my operation and uh, I've been treating the past several days like, you know, anniversaries. Oh, we're entering, I'm entering a one month mark, I'm entering, you know, five week mark <laughs> and stuff like that. Um, yes, it's a uh, it's, um, celebration almost because it's in... Um, because I've recovered so much, I've changed so much, and uh, I've uh, explored so much, and uh, those things um, deserve um, celebration and um, <laughs> and cheering and a lot of um, champagne. <laughs> uh, but uh, I've been in very good moods lately um, because I've continued to do my practices, and uh, I try my best not to skip them, even if I had to, like you know make them a little bit short um sometimes you know if i'm in a rush i could just you know do them a little bit quicker than other time when i have time i'll try to do as slowly as more as more focus as i can but you know i can play with uh, the time time but then you know at least i need to crank it in crank them in and then it makes a huge difference to me um i don't know about other people but for me going through this um you know devastation um it's been really helpful it's been fantastic it's been such a blessing just to be able to you know stabilize my mind um my emotion my body in this particular way that whatever happens i'm like you know it's fine we're good i'm good i don't have to like um be um as um this Disturbed. I don't have to be as easily disturbed as I, 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 I used to be. Um, so it's been really good and uh, um, I'm very happy. And I uh, also wanted to report that um, today I really um, started uh, doing assisted walker walking. So um, they give me this walker, like four wheeled walker. And then they have like four legs. Each leg has a wheel. And then you hold on to one of the, the the handles on top and then you just slide it out and then you walk slide it out and you walk so it's sort of like a baby step training um because um i'm actually graduated from par uh, parallel bar walking so you know like in gymnastic they have those kind of parallel bars that they could do crazy shit on it Obviously, I can't do that. <laughs> um, I would hold hold on to the parallel bar and then try to walk. And uh, um, so my new therapist um, uh, think that I could start walking on the wheel um, walker instead of the parallel bar. So um, he trained me that today, and I was like, "Holy cow! Like I can actually make some steps." It was just like insane. Because I'm seeing like people doing this and be like, oh, I want to do that. I want to do that. Um, but today it was my first time doing it. It was just like, holy shit, I can do this. <laughs> um, obviously, as I was saying yesterday, comparing to, um, you know, um, the first time I came to this place, um, you know, I've changed so much. I've built so much and I have uh, um, healed so much. And, uh, you know, it's just a uh, night and day, you know, um, really incredible. When I first came here, I could only move like two or three left toes. Um, I think my entire left foot, where I was able to like left, all my left toes, I were able to, 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 to move or something. Uh, the right was uh, very um, stagnant, um, only the left toes, and then, and then you know, during three week time, I can actually lift my leg off the bed, like, boom, like, I can actually lift my leg. <laughs> I'm so happy about this. <laughs> I can't believe I'm showing on camera. Um, but it's it's incredible, and uh, um, I'm really proud of my progress. I'm very proud of my body. I'm proud of myself, and uh, I'm, I'm very grateful that um, <laughs> this body is uh, helping me um, along the way. 
Ah, uh, so that was really fantastic. Uh, um, you know, with all the healings and all the um the progress when I was doing the physiotherapy. And uh, right now, the so there's a categorization of like you know paralysis and then particular muscle or like body functions. Right now, um. I'm at a plus three. When I reach plus five with my left foot, I'm ready to walk. Well, not not like, you know, I'm ready to use a crutch to 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 do this. But um, my right leg, on the other hand, it's still lacking. Um, I'm just giving it as much time as it needs. <laughs> um, it's it's uh still not too much function but like there are muscular um, um growth that's happening and it's been stronger and stronger it just doesn't show very well and the, the, the when the therapist tried to move my right leg and try to test it and he's like no oh wait you weren't able to do this yesterday and i'm like oh okay <laughs> that's good to know <laughs> so i'm always been just being constantly encouraged by you know the progress that my body is able to make I honestly am not doing much. It's just my body healing. I'm just, you know, free ride, to be honest. <laughs> I'm not really doing much. I'm just eating and then <laughs> trying to be happy, trying to maintain my state of mind and uh, um, trying to do things that will bring me happiness. Uh, stuff like that, you know. Um, also, there is a um, little tricky situation with my... Um, insurance um you know like staying in the u.s insurance is very important but i don't have one <laughs> and uh it's a miscalcul huge miscalculation on my part but right now um i've tried to reach out to several different uh organizations who are able to help me as um but i'm not completely qualified i found one that's able to help me but then we spent like almost an hour on the phone trying to get this application through but um when i have all the correct documentation it still did not go through so um tomorrow he's gonna find out more about the reason behind it and then how to uh, what's the situation but uh if everything matches i should be able to um get this but uh he doesn't know why this is happening so we'll have to see but this is very uh, important, not just because, you know, I need to have insurance coverage, but also, like, if I wanted to stay in New York and continue my treatment here, I need to actually have uh, some sort of insurance. Because I can't just, you know, pay everything from pocket, and then um, it's just not the right way to do it. And then a lot of the uh, the, the the facilities, they don't accept it. I thought, like, U.S. Medicare, uh, medical, you know, service are all privatized. They should they should accept private money, but it's actually not the case. Like, oh, okay. um, so I have to get insurance. Without it, I have to go. Um, I mean, like, you know, eventually I have to leave because at this point, not having insurance, not having some sort of like, you know, plan to um support me, and you know, it's it's tricky. What if I fall in the tub? What if I, you know, like. Um, have an accident but actually an uh, accident I'm covered because if it's if it's a emergency I'm covered by Medicaid but everything I have to go through emergency so that's also not very ideal either um, so we'll have to see um, I was very worried and I was actually kind of scared um, really like nervous when I was on the phone with the 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 um the insurance navigator, and uh, obviously um, it wasn't really a very fruitful call, but we did find the uh, the right documents to to further pursue this. Uh, but you know, I was actually like quite nervous. I was like, oh, I hope I get it. I hope I get it. But no, I didn't get it today. Okay. Um, but um, you know, I was talking to. Um, my friend Mario and uh, he raises the question again what if you go back to Canada uh, I'm like I'm not against it for sure I, I prefer to stay here at least for now because it's just 
it, to a certain aspect it's easier a certain aspects it's not it's very difficult um uh, if i stay in vancouver you know i have friends i have my family and stuff you know support wise it's going to be terrific but you know that requires quite a lot of setup and also require uh, me to you know move set set things up and then you know fly and that's a huge thing that i'm not really sure how to do yet um with my sporadic you know bladder control it, it, just like broken garden sprinkler just, <laughs> i don't know how i'm gonna do this on the plane man <laughs> i need to change like five six diapers per day so can you imagine like flying six hours so i need to change basically twice i can't even sit up i can't i don't even know how to like do this flying i've watched some videos some people with wheelchairs you know because they actually have to check in their wheelchairs <sighs> mind-blowing so I, I i have no idea anyway so um you know, with a, I have to think about moving, I have to think about flying. It, it's just a bit much. I, I don't know how to do this. And uh, just staying put for a while and just continue my treatment and uh, building my body so that, you know, at least I can leave with crutches. Um, then I'm more than happy to do so. But um, hopefully not yet. But regardless, I know that, uh, you know, um, sometimes life don't happen the way that we want to <laughs> obviously but uh um instead of you know um just trying to um trying to instead of trying to focusing trying to focus on um what i want and how i want this to happen um right now i just try to be humble and try to say try to realize that you know what um I don't really know what's good for me and uh, um, sometimes life you know will take us to streets and corners that we never thought we would go but um, it's definitely it could be a learning experience um, regardless I will try my best to you know um, talk to different people talk to different organizations trying to get as much help as I can but at the same time if it doesn't happen that way I'm sure there's another way for me to look for so it's um, so instead of focusing, you know, how I want this to happen, um, I wanted to have an open mind. And uh, while I try my best to, to, um, to, while I try my best to look for what I want right now. And uh, um, so that way, I think, um, you know, I'm open. Whatever happens, um, I'm open. I'm a humble student of life, basically. And I hope that um, that um, something's going to happen. Something suitable for me is going to happen. It's like this, you know, this um, rehab center. I've been wanting to go to a really famous top-of-the-notch rehab center, but I ended up here, you know, so far away from the city, so isolated. I don't have visitors. My sister rarely comes. <laughs> um, uh, but somehow this place is actually you know it makes me feel more stable it makes me feel more calm it makes me feel more at ease and uh you know with all the trees and stuff it's just kind of like a retreat so i i, I didn't know um how it's gonna be until i came here so uh, instead of just jumping to conclusions of like oh this is not gonna be good that's not gonna be good i just wanted to see you know However life unfolds, I will try my best not to make conclusions and try my best to be humble and uh, and um, learn from the uh, whatever experiences life will take me. That's it. Um, I hope everyone has a good night. Good night.